she had enormous depth of research and, and all in her head. I mean, obviously, she also had it on her bookshelves. But what it meant was a lot of the stuff that we have to go away and find out. She just knew. How does this depth of research help an author? That helps in two ways. One, you don't have to go away and look it, look it out. But also it means that on the page, it comes along very, very naturally. And it comes along just as part of her imaginative process, which is which is partly why, on the whole, certainly, she, you know, she matured as a writer. You never feel that there's huge lumps of historical information being chucked at you. It, it comes along as naturally as if she was writing about her own high street in her own time. And that's part of it. She's writing within a short span of time. She's writing about a very narrow slice of the world and, and actually an artificial one. It bears about the relationship to the real Regency world as P.G. Woodhouse does to the real 1930s. And I, I think in lots of ways, they're rather parallel, those two, because because they, they serve up the very particular world. And if you discover it and you like it, you kind of settle down for life. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I love P.G. Woodhouse as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's consistent and, and, and that is a lot to do with the fact that they've found a voice that works, they found their their voice. And so there's a lot of things that book by book, she's not having to work out from scratch each time. That and an extremely supportive husband and only one child who went to boarding school, I think that helps too. <laughs>